Hello traders, welcome to today's video. It is Thursday the 28th of September and this is your Bitcoin price update. So the last time I did an update here, um, price was consolidating around here, wasn't it? I wasn't around yesterday morning in order to do a, a new update video, but I was in that long position on whatever day it was, Tuesday. Uh, got that long position on Tuesday and basically what we were looking for was the move up towards the MPOC and to take some highs and then to come down and take out the uh, Monday lows after that. And I think that's still kind of a similar plan uh, to what I have at the moment. Um, this did actually go a lot higher and you'll remember if you pay any attention to what I was saying, I was saying that a short from Monday high doesn't look like the best setup in my opinion. I would have been happy to have taken a long from the Monday lows, but I didn't want to get into a short at the Monday high. Now, the reason being for that is that we had local highs over here, MPOC, and then a series of poor highs from over the weekend and coming into these single prints. So this is why I did think that we could get a decent short squeeze. And what happened? We got a decent short squeeze. Now, the other thing that happened, which is hardly a surprise, is every time that we do get a decent short squeeze, we retrace the entire move. So this is nothing unusual. This is just the same thing that Bitcoin does time after time after time again. It overextends on the moves up because lots of people get short too early. And then when everyone's like, oh my God, maybe we're bullish again now, it just goes, nah, we're not, we're just still in a range, and it just then wrecks the people who have gone into long positions up here. It's just typical, it just happens all the time. Now, if we look on the four hour again, okay, we are still holding this POC. So remember, this is the POC of the range here. It is also the POC if you draw it back, and it is also the POC of our entire year. So bring that back to the the 1st of January, and we have the point of control of our year here. It's also the anchored view app, but I don't need to do too much more on this because you guys know that already. So I'm feeling like, okay, at the moment, I would basically be looking for short positions, okay? We, we came up, we clearly swept the Monday highs, and now what we're doing, we can actually see we're having a decent back test of this now. Um, Market structure all very much internal here. Okay, highs, lows, we're just consolidating around here above that daily open. Uh, but if I was looking for anything, I think like it would be nice to see a move down to take out Monday lows. I don't know if we're going to get that. I think maybe just a little bit more consolidation and potentially, depending on legacy markets, I think we could still continue to see this float up and maybe even get some continuation higher at this stage. Now, the reason for that is I do think that we've seen basically, uh, I think the lo a local low is in when we look at the ES and the NASDAQ. Now, I've been trading these a lot more recently. Yesterday, okay took this trade on uh, the ES, which was only just, I literally just tried to catch the bottom and get a, a little change of market structure and it just went mad afterwards. So it feels to me as though legacy markets had their capitulation day yesterday. Um, I am still looking to day trade this as normal. Actually, so far this morning, I think we've got a pretty decent chance to take a short here on uh, the ES, but right now you're just trading within a range, right? Um, it's just a nice chill range on the ES and on the NASDAQ since that big reversal yesterday. And I do think that we may have hit a, uh, uh, maybe even a macro low here on the legacy markets. Okay, the reason being for that, the NASDAQ, okay, taking out June lows. Yeah, over here. So taking out June lows coming into a big area of imbalances. The ES coming through and filling this entire gap. So not only taking out those June lows, but also coming and filling in the entire gap below coming into this order block. And then you look at the index itself, which had a partial fill of this, like basically the main gap on the chart. And now we're basically looking for more upside. So I do think that we could have hit a bottom here on legacy markets. Uh, I think we saw a capitulation yesterday from those markets with a lot of people getting wrecked. And uh, us making some really good money in the process. So, hey, if you know which way direction to trade, then you can do so very profitably. 
the other thing for me as well is I, I had this feeling that the XY was, was getting a little bit toppy. I am still looking for a pullback towards Rono 5. It does seem to me like the euro and the pound here, local changes in market structure, same kind of thing, okay? You have a decent recovery, you put in a range, you sweep below into imbalances, and then you go like crazy move up. So just the same kind of thing, indicative of a bottom being put in in the market, which would lead me to a bit more of a bullish bias here on Bitcoin. However, there's not really a correlation right now between uh, BTC, between crypto and, and legacy markets. So you trade each on its own merit. And for now, I think more range bound stuff going on here, move down towards weekly open would be kind of good. You'd have golden pocket down here and then maybe be looking for a continuation to fill the rest of this gap and potentially even take out the highs here. So. I think that wraps it up for this video. Uh, that gives you some ideas in which to go off of. I will be doing a live stream later on today for New York Open. So I'll see you guys at the Open. Um, that'll be 2 p.m. UK time, whatever time, 9 a.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. UTC. And yeah, I will see you there. So have a great day. Happy trading, of course. And... See you in a few hours. Cheers. Bye-bye.